I love swimwear and the idea just came that I could like design the life that I wanted to live. Living life now in Maine. Tempe Keller longed to create a connection to that island life in Utila she left behind in 2016. So she set out to make swimwear. Definitely knowing how swimwear should feel on you, I would say is, I am pretty schooled in that because I lived in a bikini back home, scuba diving, in and out of the water. Um, so yeah, I think it was just sort of what was authentic. Never mind not knowing how to sew, she bought a machine and for three years taught herself the ins and outs of making bathing suits. Today, from inside this Sabata Street home studio... I'm gonna give it a bit of a arched back here. Tempe designs and creates her line of one and two-piece swimwear she calls Stella Onda touting, for several reasons, a distinctive design. The suits themselves, she calls, both flattering and functional. I try to make stuff that I would wear. Um, there's not a lot of straps and stuff involved because I am a diver and they're just not comfortable for me. All fashion aside, what Tempe acclaims as the true distinction is the mission her swimwear supports. She donates $20 from each sale to a nature school back in her home of Utila that promotes environmental education for children. I like the idea that when somebody purchases a Stella Onda swimsuit, it is directly sending you know, up to four children to explore and play in nature. And we just trace this all around. Tempe makes up to 30 suits a week for now doing it all herself, but with hopes to eventually expand and hire on others. A design, she says, which can only strengthen that connection between Maine and back home. And how can the swimwear be something more than just like profit? Like how can I actually make a difference where I'm from? That's the motivation. And by the way, the island of Utila is about 20 miles off the coast of Honduras, some 2,100 miles south of Lewiston.